All right, I'm going to start this one off by saying I got a lot of black friends, okay? <laughs> Most of them got yeah. through playing football. They were my teammates. We've been to war together on the football field, loving oh, to death. Hell no. Now, with that being said, ever since I have had said friends, they have told me that I have a bad <laughs> habit of putting them in white people. <laughs> what is going down, world? Uh, welcome to the 40-year-old FUQ Boys podcast. I go by the name Black Pegasus, and uh, this is titled... My first black cookout. <laughs> Yo. If you've missed out on certain black experiences, okay, because of lack of melanin, things that I would recommend is definitely the black cookout, okay, the black barbershop, <laughs> the black church. <laughs> Yo. Some of the most amazing places you can go or take part in. Now, me being a little, you know, a little mixed it up. I like mixing it up all the time. You know what I mean? But, uh, yo, just this title got me. I was like, I got to check this out. Uh, the reason I laughed is because when you ever, whenever you preface something like, hey, I got some black friends, <laughs> typically it goes off the rails. We will see. Let's get into it. Like, share, comment on all the content. If you rock with the vibe, subscribe. Here we go. 40. 40-year-old look, look. boys are back in town. For your ears. All right, you guys, let's get into this. Let me get this logo down, pull the video up. Don't forget, support the original content the same way you do these reactions. Um, I'm a hip hop artist, so I got a bunch of music, music videos on the channel, and we do original content in the form of interviews. We have some interviews with rappers, with artists, with beatboxers. Tap in so we can keep producing original content. Now, um, actually, let me change this filter. I forgot that that was on there. Um, and get get it right, get it tight, um, so y'all can see what I see. All right, um, let's see what my man's talking about. My first black cookout. Let go. All right, I'm gonna start this one off by saying I got a lot of black friends. Okay, <laughs> most of them I got through playing football. They were my teammates. We've been right. to war together on the football field, loving to death. Okay. Now, with that being said, ever since I have had said friends, they have told me that I have a bad habit of putting them in white people positions. I do not fully understand what they mean, but they gave me the <laughs> reference of, like, passing a cop on a two-lane road because he's going underneath the speed limit. Apparently, they ain't supposed to do that. It makes them nervous. <laughs> anyway, about a week ago, get a coffee. It, it does. It does. It used to make me nervous. Now, I'm just like, hey, I look, you know what I'm saying? Just keep keep it rolling. They actually, they were like, oh, he has confidence. Let him roll. <laughs> buddy of mine. Play football together. Says, hey, buddy, I want you to come to a cookout. Hell, you ain't got to hit me in the face with a wet mop. I like cookouts. <laughs> so I show up to the cookout. All right. As I step out of my pick-em-up truck, I realize that the only three white things at this cookout is the salt shaker, the napkins, and me. All right. As I'm walking up, I am being greeted by his grandma and grandpa and his great-grandma and grandpa and his 47 cousins. All right. Which there's no way for me to remember all these people's names. Anyway... <laughs> There's a long table where the food's where the food everybody's eating at. Okay, they bring me over and set me down at the head of the table. I'm already, I'm already really uncomfortable at this point because I don't know what's about to happen. <laughs> well, they say the blessing and I get up to go fix my food. Well, I was not aware that at a black cookout you do not fix your own plate. They fix your plate <laughs> for you. Now. They bring me a whopping Dixie plate that some bitches round it off like this with barbecue. Okay. Yo, yo this, description, this description of this is crazy as hell. And sometimes, you know, it depends on what, what type of cookout you at. But that's a pretty reliable description. They, they It's because it's hospitality, baby. You know what I mean? Like they give you that, hey, you got to try this. You got to try that. This is hilarious. This dude's wild. And the funny thing is, I can't lie. When you're the only person that looks different in a group of people, it is it can be a little intimidating, depending on where you're at with your social skills and how you're feeling about life. These days, I just kind of do whatever, you know. But when I was younger, um, I'd definitely be like, oh, I'm the only person that looks like this here. <laughs> Hello. But that's hilarious. And I'm going to eat it. Don't get me wrong. I don't waste food. I'm going to eat it. <laughs> so as I'm sitting there munching away, you know, just kind of getting my bearings about where I'm at, 
These two ladies walk up to me, two of his aunties, with two different potato salads. All right. They say, we want to get your, your opinion on which one of these is better. Now, apparently just because I'm white, I'm supposed to know the different calibers of mayonnaise. Well, I ain't finna piss nobody off at this cookout, okay? So I ate both of them, and I told them that they were just so damn good, both of them, I, I couldn't pick one. Good, now, good, good, at good. this current time, I am almost in a food coma because I've ate so much because I didn't want to disrespect nobody's cooking there. And then his great-grandma, Mama T, that's what they call her, she comes up to me with what looks like a five-pound piece of cherry pie. Now, let me paint a picture for you. I've got the meat sweats. All right, <laughs> barbecue sauce on my shirt. I'm <laughs> yo, he did the right thing, yo. The potato salad could have been a disaster. I'm like, I like this one, bro. <sighs> End of your day. Have y'all ever ate so much food and you're trying to be polite? You're like so stuffed. And they're like, you have to try this. They just, you have to try this, bro. That's what, that's what you're talking about. Drifting in and out of consciousness. And she won't, she's bringing me a five pound piece of pie. Now, I saw Friday after Nick's. I know what happens when you disrespect somebody's grandmama. I saw what happened to Craig and Day Day when they disrespect somebody's grandmama. You ain't have, you ain't finna be chasing me through these pines because we went. This is only experience. Uh, is, 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 is Friday after next. This is incredible. Out in the woods at this cookout, I'm white, not stupid. <laughs> so as I eat this pie, which I'm eating this pie because I ain't finna piss off nobody, especially the head woman there because she ranked up top. That's great grandma. You don't mess yep. with her. Nope. You right. I finish this pie and I drift off into a Caucasian kycosis of a food coma. And I did just like this right here, just like this. I went, whew, I'm full. As soon as I tipped my head back up, the table I'm sitting at is no more food on this table. I don't know how long I was out for, but somehow I have, I'm still in the same chair. I have been dealt into a high stakes spades game at an all black cookout besides me. What the fuck is going on? How did I get here? At what point in my life did I take this turn to take me to where I'm at? Spades is a real thing. Spades and dominoes. This is a real thing. And now the cards is in front of me, and I got no idea how to play spades, okay? None. <laughs> I got no idea. All right, uh, I'm white. We play go fish and cornhole. All we did, we got bored one day, literally did the whitest thing possible, walked out in the field, got some corn, took our pocket knives and cut it off the stalk, all right? Put it in a bag, went over there, found some plywood in the shed, cut a hole in it, put it on an angle, and we toss it at each other. That's what we do. I have no idea what spades is. So as they give me the runaround idea what the hell is going on with this spades game, I realize, I look at my hand and I realize that I probably got a pretty decent hand. Well, they asked me, they said, Zach, how many books you got? Which they had just explained this to me now. I'm talking about just now. I said, it looks like I got eight books. Apparently that is the wrong damn answer for your first hand of spades ever because as soon as I said I got eight books, three Glock nines hit the top of the table. I've got every damn spade that you could possibly have and three other aces. Well, as I survived that round, I go to get up and one of his cousins. Yo, what's crazy is I, I, I kind of forget how to play spades exactly. Like I'd have to sit down, I've played spades um, but I haven't played it in a long ass time. But essentially, you got some books like that. Your first, <laughs> yo, this, this full set Glocks. Like, who's he playing space? That ain't with great grandma on them. That had to be with uh, uh with the cousins. <laughs> yeah. Come over and tap me on the show and say, hey buddy, you wanna go throw bones? I don't know what they're talking about. I ain't got a <laughs> shit and clue what they're talking about. But I ain't gonna piss nobody off. You gotta understand, at this point, I am in survival mode. I am not pissing not one person off at this cookout. I do whatever they tell me to do. If they want me to stand on my head and blow bubbles out of my ass, I will do it. Don't hurt me, okay? Why he's scared of getting hurt with his homies? <laughs> he's like, I'm in survival, survival mode. It's your homie's cookout. <laughs> now, I did not know bones meant dice. I was leaning more toward dominoes, which I kind of knew how to play from the Elks Lodge. But apparently, bones means dice. I lost $36 so fast my fucking head was spinning. Damn, maybe I'm tripping. I thought bones was dominoes too. What the? 
Cass was like, yo, let's play some Bones. Man, what the hell? Do I got to get my Urban Dictionary? Like, that's what we called it when we, that's what we called it. And uh, uh, Dice is just, well, we'd be like, yo, it's a craps game. Who's going to, yeah. I didn't, I never called Dice Bones. All right, all right, all right, all right. Different part of the country, different cookout. Okay, and apparently when they yell gator, that just code word for the white man loses because they just took my money and I just put some more down until I ran out of money. Gators hoes, which is fine. gators hoes. Made it through that one too. Now, as I'm slowly trying to make my way back to my truck, I went over to thank Mama T. You know, I thank, I thank my buddy. I thank everybody on the way to my truck. And I've got my truck in my sights. I am zeroed in on my truck trying to leave this place. Now, I get to my truck. I put my hand on my truck to go open it and there's a, like a sense of relief that comes over me. Like I didn't piss nobody off, nothing went wrong. I went, whew, I made it. Now, as I open my door, I feel a tap on my shoulder. I turn around. The whole damn cookout is behind me. Everybody there is right around my truck with Mama T right there in the front and my buddy. And he looked at me, he said, Hey, buddy, next week's Mama T's birthday. You coming back? And I looked at him. Bamboozled on what to say. And the only thing I could come up with was, you damn right I'm coming back. Because that's the best damn barbecue I've ever had in my life. I don't know if you've ever been to All Black Cookout. But I'm going to tell you something. If you get the invitation, you better take that shit. Because that is the best food you ever going to get and the nicest damn people. I scared shitless. I ain't going to lie. I'm a big guy. I was acting like a little bitch. I didn't know what was happening. But at the same time, that's the most fun and some of the best people yeah. I've ever been around in my entire life. Yeah. I'm going back next week. Bet. Yeah. I told him, I said, y'all, y'all need me to bring something like some ice because I ain't trying to cook with y'all. Y'all want some ice <laughs> or like or like some, uh, you want me to go get my little cousin Kyle to wear his monster hats and shit uh. and bring him? You know, so he'll, he'll feel at home. He got wife beaters and stuff. Y'all, what y'all need? They told me I couldn't bring nothing but myself, me, and I, which I will be there. I'm white, not stupid. I ain't pissing nobody off. <laughs> Shit. Yo, this dude's wildin', B. That's hilarious. He ain't lying, though. He ain't lying. Nicest people, amazing food. He ain't lying. Why did I? Oh, damn, that's crazy. That's crazy how many views this has. He's just sitting there talking, too. That's wild. I mean, he ain't lie. He ain't lie. I mean, the funny thing, too, is, though, when he's like, yo, I'm there with my homie. You know, in his family, but I feel um, he, he was saying, oh, man, what's the word? Why am I getting brain fog right now? He's saying he's feeling a little not. I don't want to say scared, but he's out of his comfort zone. He's out of his element. Right. Um, and I felt that way before, too, like, you know, going to like uh, family reunions and stuff like uh like going to like a family reunion on my wife's side you know uh like i remember not feeling you don't feel uncomfortable you just feel out of place like cuz you're the only one that let's say looks different cuz that's what he's talking about he's talking about just sticking out like a, a sore thumb as they would call it right and i remember you know going out to kentucky and uh being the only person who looks like me in you know in a whole family of hundreds of people and uh but everyone just makes you feel at home you know what i'm saying and so it's just it's unique because i do know what he's saying he's not saying he's literally like oh i'm terrified i'm gonna get beat da, 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 da. it's like that intimidation like also like i felt intimidated because like you want to show up and just you know impress like you know the father of the of the bride type thing you know, there's a little intimidation there. You want to show up and impress them, especially when you're young. As a, where I'm at now, I don't trip on none of this, none of that. You know what I mean? But And that was the word I was thinking of that was leaving me intimidated, right? And it's kind of like a tribal thing. But when you're around a bunch of people that don't look like you, it is a little intimidating. You're like, oh, like, are people looking at me? You know, like if you're a little uh, self-conscious or whatever. So I, I know what he's saying. And uh, uh, good for him, man. Like, he was like, hell yeah, I'm going back. Are you crazy? Like, you know, amazing people, amazing food. I, I like the way he prefaced that story. I it's crazy. Like, I want. it's crazy. Like, he's actually, like, a really good storyteller. That's funny. 
That's tight. My first black cookout. Let's go, homie. Well, welcome. I got to look it up, man. We always call Domino's Bones. Man, I'm in the wrong part of the country. I, I never call di- a dice game. We call a dice game a dice game or craps. So uh, don't take my rapper card, please. Please, we still in this bit. <laughs> you guys, like, share, comment on all the content. If you rock with the vibe, subscribe. I'm riding off into the sunset. 40! Thank you for being some man. 40 years down the road back again. 40. F-U-Q-Boy.